Conserving Earth's Resources. This is a level 5 course. This course teaches you all about the types of resources the Earth gives us. You will also learn how to save these resources yourself by practicing something called conservation. Do you know what resources are? Resources are the everyday things we use that cannot be replaced. The food we eat is a resource. The water we drink is a resource. The wood we use to build our houses is a resource. Even the air we breathe is a resource. But where do these resources come from? They all come from different parts of our planet, and they belong to everyone. But there's a problem. Once we use up a resource, it is gone forever. Because of this fact, it is important for us to conserve them. To conserve means to save. If you're good and save as many resources as possible, you're practicing something called conservation. Conservation is easy to do, and it's good for the planet and everyone who lives on it. In these lessons, you will learn about the types of resources available to us, and then you will get a chance to help a family conserve the resources they use around their own house. The Earth we live on is made up of many different parts. Each of these parts provides us with important resources we need to live. Let's learn more about each of these parts and what they mean to you. Air surrounds the entire planet. It's everywhere. It's in the mountains, it's far out on the ocean, and even underground in caves. The main resource in air is oxygen. We need oxygen to breathe and to stay alive. But we also use air to turn windmills, which makes electricity. We use electricity to light our homes and run things like TVs and video games. Air is a very important resource. If we make it dirty with smoke from factories and exhaust from cars and buses, we can get sick. It's important for us to keep our air as clean and fresh as we can. Water is a very important resource. We need water to drink. We use water in our homes to bathe and wash our dishes and cook. Farmers use water to grow the fruits and vegetables we eat. Everyone needs water, even animals. But there's only so much water on Earth. That means it could run out if we use too much. Because there are a lot of people on the planet, and because there is only a small amount of water we can drink and use, we need to save as much water as possible. Land is a very important part of the Earth. It gives us many important resources that we use every day, like trees. We use trees for wood to build things. We use coal and oil to make energy to power our homes and cars. We use metal and other materials we dig up to make buildings and trucks and things like refrigerators and shopping carts. But once we use up these resources, they are gone forever. But if we save these resources and reuse the things we throw away, we can make our resources last a long, long time. Even though the planet may seem really, really large, the things you do can be a big help. So while it's important to learn about saving resources, it's even more important that you begin to conserve them yourself. Just imagine, there are millions of kids all over the world just like you. If you all start conserving the Earth's resources, you all will make a huge difference. Now that you're an expert about resources, it's your turn to help a family conserve the resources they use. This family does a good job of conserving resources in their bathroom, but I think they could do better. They currently have 55 conservation points. Help them get more points by clicking each of the resources the family could conserve. When you think you're finished, click the calculator to add up their new points. Good catch! Even though it might seem like a good idea to throw things like paper cups away when you are done with them, you can also recycle them. Recycle means to reuse. Paper is made from trees, a valuable resource. Recycling paper is easy and helps save trees. Every year on the planet, 95 million tons of paper are recycled. That's 40 million cars. Imagine how many trees we would have to cut down to make 95 million tons of paper. Excellent. This family accidentally left the iron on, but no one is ironing. The iron uses electricity that is partly made from resources that will one day run out once we use them all. This family can help save those resources by turning off the iron when they are not using it.
very good. The sink is dripping and wasting water resources. Even though it doesn't seem like a lot of water, even just two or three drips a minute can add up to almost 160 gallons a year. You could fill your bathtub up twice with that amount of water. Now imagine if people across the world left their faucets dripping. It's easy to turn the faucet off when you're not using it. Great call. The energy this family uses to heat their home is made from valuable resources. Right now, that heat is escaping through the open window. An easy way for this family to save heat, and the resources it's made from, is to close the window. That's really easy. Good job. This family left the light on, and no one is even in the bathroom. The light uses electricity. Electricity is partly made from resources like coal and oil. They come from the earth and cannot be replaced once they are gone. An easy way to help save those resources is to turn off lights that you're not using. Right on. You're good at this game. Millions of gallons of water are wasted every day around the world because families like this accidentally leave faucets running. Even just a few drips a minute can add up. If every family makes sure to conserve the water they use, it will help save a valuable resource. Great job. That was excellent. You are a big help to the family. Now they really know how to conserve the resources they use, which helps the whole planet. This family does an okay job conserving resources in their kitchen. They currently have 55 conservation points for this room, but I think they could do better. Help them get more conservation points by clicking each of the resources the family could conserve. When you think you are finished, click the calculator to add up their new points. Good call. This refrigerator uses electricity, which is made from resources that can run out. If all the people in the world left the refrigerator doors open, imagine how much electricity would be wasted. But closing the door is easy. I guess this family forgot. You're good at this. These items are made from paper, which is made from trees. Trees are an important resource to save. One way to help is to recycle paper. Recycle means to reuse. Every year around the world, we recycle 96 million tons of paper. That's enough paper to fill 5 million bedrooms. Imagine how many trees recycling saves. Good job. This family left the microwave door open, which means the light is on for no reason. The light uses electricity. Electricity is partly made from resources like coal and oil. They come from the earth and cannot be replaced once they are gone. An easy way to help save those resources is to close the door so the light goes off. Right on. You're good at this. Millions of gallons of water are wasted every day around the world because families like this accidentally leave their kitchen faucets running. Even just a few drips a minute can add up. If every family makes sure to conserve the water they use, it will help save a valuable resource. Excellent! This family accidentally left the light on, but no one is in the kitchen. This light uses electricity that is partly made from resources that will run out once we use them all. This family can help save those resources by turning off lights when they don't need them. Way to go! Why is the stove on if there's no one in the kitchen? The stove uses valuable energy that is made from resources that will run out unless we help save them. This family can make a big difference if they turn off appliances they aren't using. Great job! That was excellent. You were a big help to the family. Now they really know how to conserve the resources they use, which helps the whole planet.